This park is amazing. If you're anywhere near southwest Utah, I would make it a point to come and see it because it's arguably the most underrated state park we've ever been to, being surrounded by parks like Zion and Bryce and all that. I can see why you might not put this at the top of the list until you've been here. It's got everything. It's got sandstone, it's got petrified sand dunes, it's got lava rocks, it's got lava tube, it's got 170 different climbing routes if you're into climbing. It just seems like you could explore here for several days and it's, it's really not that big. Would you look at that? Wiley's cooking breakfast today. What are you making, baby? Eggs. Coffee. And that's it. He doesn't cook often, but when he does, it's usually breakfast. Today we are at Snow Canyon State Park, which is pretty close to St. George. Why do you come up here? Basically, we've been trying to dodge the weather. We were in Nevada, running away from Sedona, trying to find some more weather, but everywhere we're going, it wants to snow or rain. When we were in Sedona, Wiley ruined his bike. Not ruined it, but broke it enough that it's out of commission until I find a bike shop that can fix it. We went to a bike shop this morning and they couldn't take me in until at least tomorrow, if not Tuesday. So we're kind of in a holding pattern because we want to get that fixed because if we keep going from town to town and they can't fix it, then I'm in the same spot. I don't have a bike to ride. So that's our priority tomorrow is to get that figured out. Yeah, so we keep on ending up at places that we can mountain bike and his bike's been having issues, so it's not working out in our favor. So we popped up into Utah, hopefully we can get the bike fixed sooner than later, but today we actually have sunshine, no rain, so we're just going to check out Snow Canyon State Park. Apparently a lot of people skip it because it is so close to Zion, but it's pretty cool so far what we've seen. We like it, so we're gonna check that out today. So this park has lava tubes, your red rock, your white rock, your petrified dunes, all in this small tiny park. So we're gonna try and make a loop out of the trails that they have here, just so we're not going to each stop and just walking in and out. Loops are more interesting to me anyway. So this is a uh, collapsed, partially collapsed, lava tube. I don't think you're going very far. Can you go? Really? Entering the lava tube. Will she ever return? Yeah, there's someone been there. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. That's probably what you're seeing. Yeah. Dre, where are you going? In the hole. In the lava tube. This is a hole in the ground that formed when lava was coming out of this. And the exterior cools and dries, and then the hot lava that continues to flow through flows into what's now the tube. And because this tube is facing downhill, the hot lava 
drained out of it, so now people get to go inside, take a look. So we're gonna go take a look. Let's go see where this goes. So it's probably hard for you guys to see what's up. But I'm in the bottom of this lava tube, which you can't see if there's a wall of rock right there. As I spin up, that's where we came in. That's Dre up there. So we're underground. We just came into a lava tube, quite dark. Um, <laughs> headlamps are recommended because without that you probably can't get very far. We're doing a quick tour because we've got some hiking to do, but it would definitely be fun to come down here and explore a little bit more. Definitely worth a look. It feels kind of weird. Going for the high view. Somebody found the easier way. I might have a little bit more sketchy. Yeah. I saw that. Top of the rock. Got done climbing a little bit. There's an overlook and uh, you can't look at a hill like this and not try to climb it. So <laughs> Dre took the hard way, I found the easy way, and we met at the top. Yeah, this is right off of the Lava Tubes Trail. Which is one of them. There's one. It's right down there. Um, and the other one. Man's over there. A little bit farther up there. And then man's over there. Snoozing Susan's in the van. Dogs are not allowed on these trails, unfortunately. But she wouldn't have wanted to come up here anyway. She's afraid of heights. Coming back down from the overlook. You could see the layers in the rock from what I'm assuming is some kind of lava type flow. Lots of traction. Doesn't take long to go up or down it. Kind of got a little hop in my step. Nothing to worry about. So we're currently walking up petrified sand dunes. I'd like to understand how this comes to be. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> They're now rock and not drifty, blowy, light sand. It's kind of strange. So, I have to choose. I have a Because we just went to Valley of Fire yesterday. I would almost say, come up to Utah, especially if you want to go mountain biking and hit up um, Snow Canyon because there's no one here. Everybody goes to Zion instead. We're here on a Sunday and we came in, we got first come, first serve camping. Didn't have to worry about anything. We've seen all of like 10 people on a whole hike. So although Valley Fire is beautiful and you can go up here, there's way less people. Would you look at that? Somebody needs to explain to me how 
this guy and this guy, which are clearly pop rocks, got up on these petrified sand dunes. It doesn't look very obvious that there's any other lava rock up here. So are they airborne projectiles? Or were they here in the sandstone just eroded around them? Inquiring minds want to know. So I'm taking a closer look at the sandstone and there's like all these little bumps in here which uh, if I had to guess are rocks and as the sandstone erodes I think it turns into rocks that are actually loose. This is all speculation. Speculation of course. Life is a winding road Telling where it goes. Driving so we decided to stay in the park. So we're still in Snow Canyon. We're gonna stay here tonight. Sweet views from this campsite. And the bathrooms are right there. So we're gonna have a nice hot shower tonight. Maisha's over here sniffing things. What do you smell, Mama? Huh? What do you smell, mate? Smell something. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So we camped here last night. We weren't planning on it, but between the purchase to get in and the camping, it wasn't that big of a deal, so we did. The camping spot we had, I think, was the best camping spot in the whole entire camp spot. I think it was campsite 24. You get a really nice view of the mountains behind you. Super gorgeous. Uh, we did wake up to some snow on the mountains this morning. It is a little bit chilly and it was snowing before we left the campground. And right now we're just heading to the south end of the park because we didn't get a chance to get here yesterday. So that snow problem seems to be following us everywhere we go. We just like to make sure that that's noted. Um, that's just us. We're going to go check out Jenny's Canyon. It's a really easy slot canyon. That's the end of it. <laughs> I said it was really, really short. Even if the sky is falling down.